Hello and welcome to everyone watching the Written a Melanin channel. Wherever this day may have found you, I am glad that you're here. My name is Chelsea, also known as CM Lockhart, and I'm here to bring some melanin to your pages. This is a book review video of The Goddess Twins by Yadasa Williams. And this series, like everything related to Written and Melanin Publishing, is designed to make you guys aware of some amazing books written by Black authors that you may or may not already know about. These are my honest opinions, so feel free to take them with a grain of salt. If you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on the channel. Alright, now let's get into this. The summary from the back of the book reads, it's days before your 18th birthday, but your mother is missing and suddenly you have supernatural powers. What are you willing to face to discover the truth of who you really are? After years of traveling the world, black identical twins Aurora and Arden think they've settled into normalcy in Ohio. But days before their 18th birthday, the snarky twins develop powers in telekinesis and telepathy at the same time that their famous mother, who's on tour in London, disappears. Searching for answers and determined to rescue her, the sisters unearth truths that threaten to extinguish their bond and demolish their strength as individuals. Can they trust their beguiling, newly discovered British cousins when they barely trust one another? Should they heed the warnings of their immortal grandmother, a patoy chatting goddess who says she's friendly with the fates and can see inside a person's very soul? In order to succeed in their quest, these goddess twins must work together, master their powers, and unveil a horrifying century-old family mystery. Otherwise, they may not live to see 18 or their mother again. To be completely honest, this is the kind of book that can only be described as straightforward and refreshing. Aurora and Arden are unique characters facing new challenges at every turn of the page, and they are constantly trying to figure out what they should do to keep moving forward, to rescue their mother, and to stay together. All the characters in this book are unique and quirky and will leave an impression on you. I would be hard pressed to pick a favorite character only because they were all interesting in their own ways, but I would say that I connected most to Arden. She was the twin who was more reserved, liked to read, and was loving and hopeful and optimistic about their journey throughout the book. I felt like her character was something that spoke to me personally since her personality aligned so much with my own. But let's get into this, specifically the things that I loved about this book. The first thing was I loved the fast pace of it. This book moves really quickly. There aren't many lulls in the storytelling and it's, like I said, refreshing. It's not overwhelming or too fast, but it moves at a pace that keeps you turning pages to see what happens next. And I found that I really liked that, especially since I have been reading longer books recently. So the fact that this book kept moving and kept me turning pages and there was always something happening was something that I really appreciated. The second thing that I really loved about this book was the twins relationship. A lot of times when you get books about twins, you get the story of two people who are impossibly close in a way that you don't really understand unless you're a twin yourself. There's a lot of things that happen between twins that people without one just can't relate to or connect to. And Arden and Aurora have the type of sibling relationship that anyone can understand and relate to. And I thought that was a nice touch in its own way because it deviates from the norm, especially when you have books that are specifically about twins. You usually get things like we understand each other's thoughts or we understand each other's feelings or we connect without words. And Aurora and Arden, while they're close and they are twins, they are also very different people, and I liked that we got that aspect of them. The third thing that I really, really loved, and this is probably my favorite part of the book, is I loved the goddess's origin story. Normally in a book like this, you would expect for the goddesses to always have been goddesses, but the grandmother in this story is not a, what you would call a true born goddess. She was chosen to be one by the powers that be. And I enjoyed how she came to have her powers only because the situation was unique and it was a different spin on what is essentially, you know, the powers that be choosing the chosen one. And the reason it came about just, it tickled me. And I just found that the whole reason all of this got started in the first place to be highly amusing. So 
Um, if nothing else, I recommend reading the book for that because I haven't read personally another book that has an origin story like this one. So I would recommend it almost for that purpose alone. Now, moving on to the things that I didn't love. I didn't love Lilo. She's one of the cousins that the twins meet when they go to London. And while I didn't have an issue with the role that she played in the story, I just personally found her personality to be extremely grating. And to be fair, I would probably not choose to hang out with her in real life either. So this is really just a personal hang up. Um, the second thing, I didn't like the fight that Arden and Aurora get into when they are in London. Again, I don't have an issue with how that decision played out in the overall story. It's just I wanted a little bit less selfishness from the girls and I wanted a little bit more codependence on each other because they are twins. And that might seem a little contradictory because of what I said earlier about liking their relationship. It's one of those like six in one hand, half dozen in the other type things. I enjoyed their sibling relationship, but I also kind of wish that we had got a little bit more codependency on them since that's kind of what you're expecting when you pick up a book about twins. I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. And the last thing that I didn't necessarily love is Devin. And let me say this, he wasn't a bad character and I didn't dislike how he played into the story. It's just, I wanted more. I wanted more of his character. I wanted more of what was happening. I wanted more of everything that came after, you know, the problem ultimately came to its conclusion. But again, that's just a personal hangup. It's not, it doesn't make the book bad. It's just, I personally wanted more. But overall, I think this is a good book. It gives me the kind of vibes that I would want if I was picking a book out to read on a lazy Sunday afternoon and I just wanted to like run through it. If you're a fan of magic, family, sisterhood, and just embracing yourself for the, all the parts that you never knew about, then this book is for you. It's a quick read and it's really good and I would definitely recommend it if you like stories about magical girls. But that's all I can say about this book without spoiling it. So to recap, this book is called The Goddess Twins by Yadasa Williams. It's a book about a pair of twins who discover their goddesses while on a journey to rescue their mother from a past that just won't let any of them free from its grip. This is Yadasa's debut novel and it's available pretty much everywhere. So feel free to grab a copy from wherever you like to get your books from. She will be back on the channel for an interview soon, so if you're a patron of Written and Melanin, then you'll get early access to her interview, so consider supporting us. It's a win-win situation for everyone involved. Just saying. But all right, that is it for this video, you guys. I will leave links to where you can purchase my book, Keeping Promises, and follow me, CM Lockhart, and my company, Written and Melanin Publishing, on social media. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. There are new videos on the channel every week. If you love books by Black authors, consider supporting us through Patreon. Every penny goes to supporting Black authors and bringing more of their books to the masses. There's a link in the description box below if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I hope your days are lovely and your books are interesting. Bye!